Welcome back to the Oakland Athletics franchise. We are finally here in the 2019 MLB World Series as we are in Los Angeles at Dodger Stadium for Game 1 of the World Series. We will see Rick Porcello on the hill for the A's taking on Clayton Kershaw who will be on the hill for the Dodgers. Both pitchers were in the Cy Young, Cy Young race the entire year. Porcello comes in making his third postseason appearance of the year. And he would have a little bit of a rough start early. Here's the 0-2 count to Justin Turner. And Turner drives her into the gap deep right center field. Going back is Piscotti. It would bounce over the wall for a ground rule double. And Turner would get the game started that way. A couple batters later, here's Corey Seager. He takes a strike. Throwing back to second is Romuto. And this one goes into the outfield. It just completely nutmegged Matt Duffy. And advancing to third will be Turner. So run around third with two downers, a two-one to Cody Bellinger, and he belts this one up the middle for a single, a run will score, and that's a clutch RBI single for Cody Bellinger. It's one nothing Dodgers. The bottom of the second now, here's the 2-2 to Matt Kemp, and Kemp drives on deep left field. Davis walks back as this one is way out of here for a home run, and about the fourth throw out, 400 feet for Matt Kemp. The guy used to play for the Dodgers a while ago. Got traded around the league for a while, was on the Padres at one point to the Braves, and now he is back in a Dodgers uniform where he belongs. Matt Kemp, rightfully so. Clayton Kershaw, like I said, would be on the hill for the Dodgers, making his fifth postseason appearance. Top of the fourth we go, a one count to Steven Piscotty. Piscotty's going to line one into the right field, and oh my, Yasiel Puig completely misjudges this one. It'll go to the wall, and rounding second, Piscotty's going to head to third. This is going to be an easy stand-up triple. Could he try for a home run? The relay throw home is a beautiful one, and Piscotty will go back to third safely with a triple. And the first pitch to Chris Davis gets through the hole. It's going to be an RBI single. It's now just a 2-1 to one lead for the Dodgers as the A's are cutting into that deficit. So move ahead a little bit. Bottom of the fifth. Here's the two out. A 1-1 one, one pitch to this one. Deep drive. Get out of here. It is gone. A so low shot by David Dahl. He was acquired by the Rockies in the offseason. Required from the Rockies in the offseason, and he belts this one deep and long. It is out of air for a home run. It's 3 to 1, and the Dodgers pad their lead. Bottom of the sixth now. Here's the first pitch to Yasiel Puig. He's going to hit one up the middle coming in on It's going to be Mateo. It's down for a base hit. That's going to be a single for Puig. A one count to Matt Kemp. Kemp's going to line one into center. This was about the exact same spot, but it's going to go to the wall. It gets past Mateo. The speedy center fielder is going to get it in quickly. The relay throw home is going to be not in time, and that's going to be an RBI double from Matt Kemp. Slice that one to the wall. Bottom of the eighth, here's the 2-2 pitch to Justin Turner. This one will get down for a base hit, and Davis getting a little bit lazy with it, and that's going to get another base for Turner. He's going to stand in there safely with a double. 1-2 pitch to Corey Seager. He's going to rip one into the gap, and this is going to be another run for the Dodgers. And Davis misjudges it, and he completely misses it. And this horrible afternoon for the A's continues, and it's now 5-1 to one in the Dodgers' lead. Bottom of the eighth still. Here's the first pitch to Bellinger, and this one is deep, and it is gone. A, a two-run no-doubter for Cody Bellinger. It is now 7-1. to one. The A's are just getting pummeled in this game one of the World Series. Top of the ninth with two down. Here's the 1-1 from Kershaw. It's going to be a deep drive to the wall. This one's a chance to get out of here. Going back is David Dahl to the track. And he hauls it in at the warning track. And the ball game is over. The Dodgers take game one at home. A complete game. Only a one run led up by Clayton Kershaw. A beautiful performance from him in front of his hometown crowd. This was an easy win for the Dodgers. Strolling to a 7-1 victory. Porcello only went five and two-thirds innings. Giving up eight hits and four runs. So good game for the Dodgers as we move on to game number two again in Los Angeles. A's trying to tie it up. What a piece before heading back to the Bay Area up in Oakland. And this is, would be a very crucial game in this series. It's game two of the 2019 World Series. And a pitching matchup will be a lot different. It's the lefty Julio Urias versus the lefty Sean Manaya. He's been one of our best pitchers the entire year, the most consistent pitcher on our team. But we would see Urias first making his third postseason start of the year. And this would be interesting for him. We start at the top of the second, a two-run count to Chris. My me crush, Davis. This one is out of here. A no-doubter, a little bit of a bat flip. And Urias, you can't give him a pitch up in the zone because he's going to drive it 472 feet out of the park. That's a deep drive, and that one was a blast. It's one to nothing. The A's 
lead the LA Dodgers. And this was a very good hit by Chris Davis and a very nice start to this ball game. As we move ahead here, Sean Manaya would be on the hill for us, like I said before, making his third postseason start. He's 2-0, hasn't let up a run yet in the playoffs. Could that continue today? He pitched very well in the series against the Blue Jays and the Yankees. Here's the 0-1 pitch to Matt Kemp. There is your scoreless postseason. It is now not scoreless anymore. That's going to be the first run of the postseason from Sean Manaya. A solo home run from Matt Kemp, barely sneaking over the wall in center field. It's now just a tied up one to one ball game. We move ahead here. Now we're in the bottom of the second still. 2 2 count to Yasiel Puig. He's going to rip one into center field. Gold back is Mateo giving chase. He's going to miss the diving attempt. It'll bounce over the wall for a ground rule double on a hop. Very next batter is the 0 1 pitch to Tyler Flowers. It's going to be a little bit of a pop up into left field. Going back is Davis. It's going to be kind of an awkward play. He'll make the catch, but tagging up and heading to third and advancing will be Yasiel Puig, so they have a runner on third with just one down. Make that two down, there's the one pitch to Julio Urias. It's gonna be a little pop up into foul territory. Camping under, it'll be Ramuto, and the A's get out of trouble. Move ahead here to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the one-one pitch to Tyler Flowers. He's gonna get an hard ground ball, and he gets under the glove of Evan Longoria for a base knock. So Davis will get it in quickly, and that would be a hit for Tyler Flowers. Then the 0-1 count to Julio Urias. He's going to try to bunt. Nice play from Olsen. That's a horrible bunt. Second for one. This could be a double play. And it will be. Urias not liking the call, but that's a double play off of a bunt. Great execution by the A's. Top of the six. There's the 0-1 pitch to, um, to Steven Piscotti. It gets down and a goal to the wall. This one's going to be extra bases for Piscotti. He's going to try to test him. He's going to round second and head to third. The relay throw is going to decide it. It is offline, and Piscotti's in there safely at third with a triple. And now with one down, there's the one who pitched to Chris Davis. Right down the line, almost nails Piscotti. If it would have hit him, it would have not been a not because it was in foul territory. That's going to be an RBI double for Davis as he strolls into second safely. And the A's take a 2-1 to one lead here in the top of the sixth inning, a clutch hit by Chris Davis. Bottom of the seventh here, here's the, one, here's the 0 2 count to Cody Bellinger. He's going to a little slice one down the left field line. This will go into the corner for extra bases. Davis trying to field it, but he takes an awkward angle on it, and that's going to be an easy double for Bellinger. So a little two strike is the double for Cody Bellinger. That's a nice way to get the inning started. And then with the man on first and second, nobody out. Here's the little ground ball to short. Polanco, a horrible turn, but a beautiful turn by Matt Duffy. A horrible throw from Polanco, but Duffy recovers, and that's going to be a double play. A 2-2 count. This one is going to get down into left field. That's going to be an RBI double. One run will score. They're going to wave around Flowers. Here's the relay throw. Flowers is going to be safe, and the Dodgers take a 3-2 lead. A 2-RBI double, and one of the clutchest situations for the Dodgers this postseason. 0-2 count later in the ball game. It's going to be a weak chopper up the middle. Polanco will field it. The runner is going to be safe at first, but he chucks it over the first baseman's head. Olsen will go in. It'll be an error on Polanco. Another run will score, and it's now 4-2 Dodgers. What a collapse by the A's. Here's the 2-2 pitch to David Dahl. We're still in the bottom of the seventh. It'll go to left field. Davis will come up firing. The throw home will not be in time. Another run will score, and it's going to be 6-2 as the Dodgers continue to build on their lead. Actually, 5-2, sorry. And then the full count pitch to Matt Olsen in the pot, or in the top of the ninth. Drives him into deep right field. This one has a chance to get out. Going back is Puig. He looks back, and it is out of here. And it's now a 5-3 ball game, but it would not be enough in the end. 391 feet from Matt Olsen off Kenley Jansen. But with two down, first pitch to Romeo does a deep drive into center field. Dahl goes back to the warning track, looking up. And he would make the catch, and this game is over. The A's drop the first two in the World Series to the Dodgers as we would all, as we head back to the Bay Area in the next episode, down two games to nothing. We need to win the next two if we want to stay in this series. We don't want to go down 3-0 like we did in the Blue Jays series. We want to win the next two and then win two more after that. If you guys enjoyed this episode of the Oakland Athletics franchise, please drop a like and subscribe. Sorry for the long absence of this series. Thank you, and goodbye.